What we up here? Hello everyone and welcome back to the PC flipping series. Super exciting, I know. You can't wait for another episode, right? Anyway, let's uh, talk about what we've sold lately. I tried to stop buying stuff because there's so much of it, it's getting hard to keep track of. I mean, I have a spreadsheet, but the spreadsheet is two pages long at this point. And so I was trying to just sell everything so that I could just kind of start over. I kind of want to make like a season two type of thing like people do. And so I'm not sure when I'm going to cut off the series, but what we sold. So we sold the GTX 1070, one of them for $70, which technically was breaking even so that's not good um, I was under the impression that 1070s were worth more and then I bought the other GTX 1070 for $50 thinking I was gonna sell it for a hundred and again it only sold for $70 so it's just a sign of you know the GPU prices are just falling so fast that you kind of have to adjust you know what your your theory is on those things so those sold, so that's 20 bucks. I sold one of the little towers from the past video for 25, which is what I paid. So that was also break even. And then I sold the second mini tower for 50. So I made 25 on that. So that's doubling the money, even though it's not a lot, it's still doubling the money. I sold another hard drive for $20 which was free because it came from that box of hard drives. And man, that box, I'm telling you for 25 bucks, I think I, I don't have exactly the number, but I'm pretty sure I've made at least a hundred dollars off of that. And I still have more drives to go. That was probably the best deal ever. It just keeps, the money just keeps coming from it slowly. And then the, um, if you saw the video of the, the tower, the HP tower that I picked up for 40 bucks. I sold the SSD from that for 35. So basically the tower is free now. And then what else? I think that's it. So we've really only made about $100 since the last episode, but it's just kind of slow right now. So what can you do? Um, those 1070s took a long time to sell. I tried to lower some prices, still not selling. It's just one of those things. That's why you don't want to buy too much stuff because then you're going to get stuck on it forever. So I did make an interesting deal though. You're going to laugh at this. So I had a GTX 650 and 750 Ti for sale for 25 and 30 dollars on offer up, I believe. It. Yeah. So they've been on there for almost two months. Not even one person said, "Hey, do you want to take 10 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever?" And honestly, I would have taken 20 dollars because they were just being used for the GPU series and. Once I was done with them, I don't need them anymore. So I'm willing to just sell them for cheap because both of them were... The 650 was free. And then the 750 Ti, I think that was from eBay. No, I don't know where that... I can't remember. I've had it forever. I don't think I would... Wait. Yeah, no, it was from eBay because... I remember one of the fans was broken and so I put a different fan set up on it. Yeah, so I, I think I got it for 
probably $25 on eBay. But that was before I started the series, so it's not counting in the whole um, math of how much I made since the series started. So anyway, so somebody, he wanted the 650 and then he said, do you have another one? And I said, no, I have a 750 Ti. He said, I'll, I'll take that one. He just wanted any card that did not require power. So I said, okay, it'll be 50 bucks for both. And then he said, hey, I have a 2017 iMac. Would you trade? The screen doesn't work, but you can plug in externally through the USB-C port. Now you might be thinking, why would you take a broken iMac at all for even if it was 20 bucks? <laughs> um, if you look back in my videos, if you go back about six months, I think, I was buying and selling iMacs. I was flipping iMacs. And it's it's different. I mean, you can't really upgrade them, right? So it's, it's a little bit different. But there's so many for sale. I mean, just tons. People, they don't even know the specs. Most people ask about 40, 50 bucks for them. And from 2012 to 2017, they all look the same. So you you could pay the same $40 and get a crappy 2012, or you could get the 2017, which has a retina display, which is like the iPhone. So I said, yeah, I mean, I just sold my 2017 iMac a few months back for $200. So to get it for basically 50 bucks, that would, that's a deal. It might not seem like a deal to you, but it, I already know what it is. If it was not a 2017, I wouldn't have done it. But the fact that it's 2017 makes it different. And I already tested that. Um, the, it has a, the 2017 has a seventh gen i5 and ddr4 memory and it's nice it's the first nice one the other ones aren't nice actually the 2000 one of 2014 is a dual core i5 which i've never even heard of so i'm gonna sell that at some point i might keep it i don't know i did plug it in with the USB C to hdmi and it works fine i mean it's nice to have an imac around just for ease of connecting to your iPhone, it's not really easy to connect an iPhone to a PC. But anyway, that's what we've been up to. We're still at about $1,300 in sales. Or no, we're at, we're at $1,700 in sales and we have 1300 no, if we count the iMac, $1,400 in inventory value. All of this from nothing. None, no investment was made in this entire project. And that's the thing that I keep trying to do. Um, I'm going to make another video showing how I did it from the beginning. But right now we're going to just see what we have here. So I found an ad for this 970. Let's put it back here. I found an ad for this for 30 bucks and I asked the guy if he would do any better and he said no 30 bucks is it and I was like man I I really don't even want a 970 honestly but I was just you know poking around this is a nice one though EVGA SSC that's different than the 970 that I tried and then I said, do you have anything else? And he said, oh, I have a 1080. And I was like, oh, okay. 1080, you say? So I've never had a 1080. And the 1070 that I bought was the first time I tried that. So I was like, I was going, oh, I want it. <laughs> this is a Dell 1080. So I said, can you sell them both for a hundred i was like thinking he's gonna he's gonna break <laughs> i 
I'm gonna take two cards for a hundred bucks, right? Nope. No budging whatsoever. And then I said, okay, I'll pick it up right now because I gotta have a 1080, I gotta try it. So he gives me the address and I'm like thinking, wait, I've been here before. It's the same guy again. <laughs> this is the third time now. He's the guy that I bought my first gaming PC package from that started this whole YouTube channel thing. I bought uh, two old gaming PCs. I bought four Lenovo Think Centers, small form factor. And then there was a GPU in one of them. This is, there's no video about this because this was before I started making videos about this type of thing and yeah just about a year later same guy we come full circle <laughs> so that was cool i mean you can't get these kind of stories when you buy stuff on ebay so anyway this uh, 1080 so somebody pointed out this is an msi made by MSI and I looked it up and it is in fact it's literally an MSI MSI Aero 1078 gig I looked up the specs they're a hundred percent the same I don't know if the MSI maybe has a back plate because this looks kind of bare but yeah this is uh not the best deal in the world but the fact that i got to meet the same guy that started this whole project i think when i met him i had 300 subscribers so when i showed him the channel he was like wow that's <laughs> that's amazing so i think once again, I'm going to try and get $100 for this. I don't know if I can anymore. The fact that it's made by MSI might help, but I'm not sure. And then this guy, I have no idea. 970s are hard to sell. But this is an EVGA. Now, at this point, EVGA carries a little bit of a premium cards any card so i'm going to i'm going to benchmark this versus my 1060 results that i have i don't know if this if i don't sell it very soon i might be able to squeeze it into the gpu series because this i wanted to do a 970 versus 1060 kind of comparison versus uh rx 570 so kind of the the kings of the the lower end and then the 1080 you already know what we're gonna do we're gonna overclock this thing till it screams and see if we can break the record of obviously I have 1070 overclock results really good ones so we're gonna compare the 1070 OC to the stock 1080 and then we're going to overclock the 1080 to the max. Hopefully this cooler can handle it. And that's it. That's where we're at. So let me know. Is this a good deal? What kind of stuff did you find today? Let's go flip some more computers and PC parts. We'll see you soon. I'll get up, bang it down